Hey everybody, Josh Sirson, World Alternative Media here, and Man Linda, <clears throat> sorry, I mean Melinda Gates has come out against Bill Gates and Jeffrey Epstein and the connection between the two. There's a lot to unpack today because this is a pretty interesting story, especially considering there's some evidence that seems to point to Melinda Gates actually just trying to get the sympathy card so they can continue mass murdering children with vaccines all over the world and uh, getting banned from different countries. And since um, Bill Gates is being thrown under the bus because of the exposure and the hate towards him, even the left hates him, um, they feel like they need a new spokesperson uh, that is more cheery eyed and more sympathetic to the average person because, oh, she got cheated on. Yeah, like she didn't know. Uh, <laughs> this is this is quite the story today. Melinda has busted the Bill Gates myth with talk of his Epstein friendship and we're going to talk about this a bit today because this actually goes well it gets it gets interesting um and and before we get into any of that though because obviously as as always i i need to point uh out that there are many ways that you can support independent media check the links below go get funding.com patreon subscribe star we have a paypal address we have a bitcoin address and we have a coin tree link with multiple different cryptocurrencies that you can donate in if you please also, check out whamsurvival.com for long-term storable foods in the face of the controlled collapse of the supply chain. It's never been more important to get your long-term storable foods, my friends. Do not wait. It's, it's imperative that people act now. Also, check out rncstore.com, Richardson Nutritional Center, your source for Laetrile Online, made famous by G. Edward Griffin's book, World Without Cancer. Get your apricot seeds, Laetrile, vitamin B17, and amygdalin there and make sure to also come on out to float fest 2022 the second annual float fest where uh I, I believe this will be april 29th to may 3rd 2022 in gaz texas just outside of austin where i currently am at this moment um and uh it'll be a very interesting event uh, sam Tripoli will be there uh, eddie bravo it looks like dr andrew kaufman will likely be there among many many others that are yet to be announced so make sure to go and get your tickets now use code wham w a m and check the affiliate link in the description of this video. Anyway, let's get into this because this is very interesting and something that we actually predicted a while back ago on our channel. Uh, we did a video, I believe, when the divorce announcement was made where they would throw Bill Gates under the bus eventually about uh, when it came to Jeffrey Epstein and then prop up Melinda Gates as the person to sympathize with. So... She could run the Bill and Melinda Gates Society. It'll just be called the Gates Society or something. And and um, Bill Gates will resign. I'm that's my guess. As this article out of Zero Hedge says, Melinda Gates trashes Bill says Jeffrey Epstein gave her nightmares. And as the article goes into, Melinda Gates has slammed her ex husband Bill over his relationship with disease deceased pedophile financier. Jeffrey Epstein, who the former Ms. And Mrs. Gates said gave her nightmares. Well, keep in mind that Jeffrey Epstein was a government agent, probably working for Israel in order to get blackmail uh, information on famous people, businessmen, politicians, etc., so that they follow in line with whatever the establishment wants them to do. Um, and say it's a girl that they think is 18 and they end up sleeping with her and it turns out she's 16 and it's now on video. Or they're just evil and they are sleeping with, you know, five-year-olds, which unfortunately is a case. And, you know, networks like ABC News and Disney covered that up for years. The Royal Family covered it up for years. There's a lot coming out regarding uh, Prince Andrew right now in regards to this. Anyway, we'll just continue on with the article and we'll go into it more later. As it continues here, it says, speaking with CBS Mornings in her first interview since her divorce from the Microsoft co-founder, Melinda said she insisted on meeting Epstein back in 2011 when her then husband was hanging out with a convicted pedophile. And I quote, I did not like that he had meetings with Jeffrey Epstein. I made that clear to him. I also met Jeffrey Epstein exactly one time. I wanted to see who this man was, and I regretted it from the second I stepped in the door, she said, adding, he was abhorrent, evil personified. I had nightmares about it afterwards. That's why my heart breaks for these young women. That's how I felt. And I'm an older woman. He was awful. Well, to be fair, this is what the CIA calls a limited hangout. You tell part of the truth and not the entirety of the truth in order to misdirect people from the entirety of the truth in order to control the narrative. Even when the narrative starts to slip out of your hands, you create a new sub narrative, which gives yourself a little bit of slack in order to misdirect people. 
That's exactly what I think is happening right now with this Melinda Gates story. <laughs> Carrying on, it says French Gates told, I can't believe they're calling her French Gates, told host <clears throat> Gail King that Bill would have to answer for the many times he met Epstein and suggested it was a factor in the divorce. And I quote, it was not one thing. It was many things that led to the divorce. Any of the questions remaining about what Bill's relationship with him was, those are for Bill to answer. I made it very clear how I felt about him. As the Daily Mail notes, Melinda also revealed how uh, she cried on the carpet at times while working through the divorce that they announced in May last year. She had forgiven Bill for a 2000 affair, but he had to answer uh, to reports of multiple affairs. The, the pair are friendly now, but are not friends. I wish him well, she said. <laughs> she is dipping her toe into dating again and finds it interesting. Can you imagine? <laughs> Whoa, you have a dick. Um, <laughs> uh, every billionaire, it says, should give away at least half of their wealth, she thinks. Absurd. Um, like, we're in an age of inflation. That's not the answer. Then she says, she does not blame herself for the divorce, saying, I did nothing wrong. I hold my head high. And she says she has launched her own company now called Pivotal Ventures, but will continue to work at the Gates Foundation. See, it's not the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. It was the Gates Foundation. I didn't even read this article. And, and here we are. <laughs> they already went that way. Meanwhile, Melinda said she and Bill aren't friends, but are friendly and work together. She also suggested he had multiple affairs. Those are the question. Those are questions Bill needs to answer. She said when asked about the reports that he cheated on many occasions, despite previously acknowledging only one affair. I believe in forgiveness. I thought he we had uh, worked through some of that. Melinda said of his two thousand affair with a Microsoft employee. I gave every single piece of myself to this marriage. I was committed from the day we got engaged to the day I got out of it. I love how like. She's acting like she, this is just a, about a love affair. I mean, seriously, guy's a reptile. <laughs> um, the 57-year-old who shocked the world when she and Bill announced in May 2021 that they were ending their 27-year uh, marriage previously told how she endured emotionally challenging times whilst working with the billionaire. The, the pair's divorce was finalized privately in Washington, where the Gates Foundation is based in August. The terms of it were never made public, but Bill was worth around $152 billion at the time, giving Melinda a 50% settlement of $76 billion. That does not include the uh, couple's vast property portfolio, which comprised of homes in New York, Washington, and California. In a Thursday statement, Bill Gates said, I will always be sorry for the pain that I caused Melinda and our family. I admire Melinda and everything she does to improve the lives of women and girls around the world. And I'm grateful for the work we continue to do together at our foundation. Yeah, it sounds pretty much like a talking point written by political operatives. This is all happening while uh, soon after this happened, Jeffrey Epstein's pimp, Jean-Luc Brunel, hangs himself alone in Paris jail with no CCTV. Ghislaine Maxwell's family shocked and scared for her as many who procured 1,000 women for pedophile financier dies days after Andrew's deal. Um, there are multiple, multiple other people who have died since. And um, it, it is quite interesting to see this stuff come back into the news, but it's also a very controlled story. I mean, when you have reptiles like Bill Gates, who obviously weren't, they weren't like lovey dovey, you know, together, not what you expect from like a normal person's relationship. They were evil people murdering children in India and Africa. And now getting into the next phase of the agenda, which is basically, well, murdering children in the U.S. and Canada and Britain and Mexico and elsewhere. Jeffrey Epstein obviously was closely associated with most well-known people in the world, most famous people, most powerful people in the world, um, mostly because he was a Mossad operative, by the looks of it, who went around. Um, getting information on people with Ghislaine Maxwell. That's how the plea deal worked out with him back, I believe, in 2011, 2010, 2011, when um, he was let off the charges, most of his charges other than paying off some people, which I'm sure the government did for him and was still allowed to travel around the world with, uninhibited. But uh, the point is, he was let off the charges because they themselves in the court said he was a government operative. That, that's clear. Whether he's alive or dead right now, I don't know. He obviously didn't kill himself. Um, sometimes they throw people under the bus, including the most evil people, because 
information starts to come out and they have to get a limited hangout operation in place where they can control the story and move it in the direction that they wish. And I believe that is exactly what has happened here. Um, so with Melinda Gates going on television, talking about this on CBS, of all things, a mainstream media network that is owned by big pharma corporations, including Bill, Bill Gates. Bill Gates gives shitloads of money to them. That tells me right away, immediately, without a shadow of a doubt, that this is a controlled story because something else is about to come out that hurts them and they have to separate the pieces apart in order to make um, one side look more sympathetic so they can continue their agenda for the establishment. So people are saying, are the people going to kill Melinda Gates now? Is someone going to kill her? Like, is it going to be a cover up a conspiracy? Well, I don't think that's necessary. I think they're just going to move Bill Gates out and move her in. Have him retire, stop talking about him for a while and bring in Melinda Gates as a head, the sympathetic head of the organization that cares so much about women and girls. You know, there's people that she makes her can't ever have babies for the rest of her life and, you know, injects with poison and kills, you know, she really cares about those women and girls. Absurdity, obviously. Uh, so. It's interesting to watch all this play out. Uh, I do believe there's going to be more coming out of the story very soon. I think that's why they're making this move. I think there's more women that are about to come out against Prince Andrew after he paid off Virginia and Jeffrey. And I think uh, we're probably going to see a lot of things shaken up by it, but it will be controlled, extremely controlled. And we have to remember that's how the establishment operates. That's how the media operates. That's how propaganda operates. Operation Mockingbird still in full effect. They're controlling the media and therefore they're controlling the mind and they're using stories in order to um, move people from one place to another, to another, to another easily while they forget about a story that happened a week ago. We don't forget, my friends. So um, anyway, we'll continue to report on all of this as we have billionaire and, uh, you know, pedophiles and Satanists going around the world, sacrificing children, drinking, you know, and trying to get adrenochrome, whether you believe that exists or not, I, I'm sure if it does exist, if it is a real thing, which I believe it probably is, um, you bet your ass that people are doing it. And with that said, they've been trafficking children all over the world on cruise ships, on airplanes, everywhere for years and setting them up with old rich men. Using it as blackmail. And then a lot of the more evil guys are using it for enjoyment it's truly disgusting and this is why you should stay away from governments government is organized crime my friends the media is the talking piece for the government police are the henchmen that use violence for the government to enforce the government's ink on paper and compliant people are the slaves that keep the machine rolling like the film Metropolis, which I urge everyone to watch. And by the way, if you haven't already, make sure to also check out our recent interviews with Max Egan and Dr. Andrew Kaufman up on our channels. Um, very important information on stuff similar to this in many ways, because this is a war on humanity at the end of the day, from divide, the wars, the health issues, to just destroying humanity and bringing in transhumanism. It's, it's horrible. They say humanity is flawed. Now, individuals can be flawed, but humanity itself works the way it's supposed to. And replacing humanity is the epitome of evil. And that's where we're going right now. So we must defend it at all costs. And defend your children and get them out of schools and get them away from government operatives and agents, politicians, etc. Homeschool, for sure. Anyways. Uh, I appreciate everyone watching today. We'll be back to you with much, much more on all of this um, as Bill Gates and Melinda Gates continue to conspire to take over the world and mass murder huge populations of people and get away with it and then play the victim card. So insane. But until then, make sure to check the links below. Go get funding.com, Patreon, subscribe star. We have a PayPal address. We have a Bitcoin address and we have a Cointree link with multiple different cryptocurrencies that you could donate in if you please. I'm currently just outside of Austin, Texas, and I'm going to be going through Europe and hopefully to Ukraine if they let me in 
Um, so help uh, fund independent media any way you can so we can report on real stories on the ground before revisionist history has its way with it. Very, very important, my friends. These are crazy times to live in and we need to tell the truth as it happens so we don't forget and have a new narrative replace the reality um, before our eyes. Um, also, make sure to uh, check out our newsletter, www.imband.com. We have a Teespring store. And of course, go and get your tickets to Float Fest 2022. Link below in the description. Use code WAM. It's in Gaz, Texas, April 29th to May 3rd. Many amazing speakers are going to be there, um, including Eddie Bravo, Sam Tripoli. It looks like Dr. Kaufman might be there. We're working on seeing if people like Max Egan or others might go. We don't know yet. Um, and there's many others that are speaking, Spike Cohen, etc. So make sure to get your tickets there. I hope to see you there um, in Gaz, Texas, just outside of Austin. Use code WAM for those tickets or click the affiliate link below. Um, of course, you could check out our other affiliates, rncstore.com, Richardson Nutritional Center, your source for Laetrile Online, made famous by G. Edward Griffin's book, World Without Cancer. Get your apricot seeds, Laetrile, amygdalin, and vitamin B17 there. Get your long-term storable foods at whamsurvival.com. That's whamsurvival.com. Never been more important, my friends. So make sure to stock up. It's better to be overly prepared than underprepared. Anyway, we're on Telegram at World Alternative Media. We're on, we have a Telegram channel at World Alternative Media Announcements. And of course, you can find us on BitChute, Odyssey, Rumble, and Brighteon at World Alternative Media, dollarvigilante.tv, and of course, Hive, Steemit, and Float.app at at Josh Sigurdsson. Really help um, support us on Hive by upvoting us. We're getting downvoted by millionaire trolls that are making sure to do whatever they could to, to bankrupt us and hide us from being seen, even on a decentralized platform. Terrible. So make sure to go and upvote us on Hive and combat against these insane people that spend all day, every day, spending insane amount of money to make sure that we're silenced. We're on the bad guys like TikTok and Instagram at World Alternative Media, as well as Twitter at at World Alt Media and Getter at at World Alt Media. Check out most recent videos. Stay tuned, my friends. Hit the like button, share on social media and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, this is Josh Sirtson signing out from World Alternative Media. Find the truth, be the change.